how's it going? Just a very quick clip, hopefully. Just a bit of a proof of concept one and to show um, a mate who's having a few problems with his radial flow filter. Just my ideas on it for the coming aqu aquaculture or RAS system build that we're going to do here. Um, it's not in place yet. Uh, this is pretty much all, all I've done on the RAS system so far. But I'll just walk you through it and show you uh, where we're up to. This is what I've come up with so far for the radial flow filter. What we have here is the line in from the fish tank. Obviously it's not connected. Uh, up here we have the top. Uh, this is the, the bit of a baffle. It's just a lid that goes over the top of it. And as you can see down there, there's a pipe that comes up through it. Um, that's not cut to length. This is just to give you a bit of an idea. So this bucket is just cut through the top of the barrel lid. So we'll just remove all this and I'll show you a bit of a look at the inside. So what happens is the water comes up through that inlet pipe there. It comes up inside this bucket which is suspended in on the um, centre, well hopefully in the centre of the barrel. The water needs to change direction to flow under the edge of the bucket and out that pipe. And what happens is the solids precipitate out or fall out of the, the water and they collect on the base of the radial flow filter. Now ideally what a lot of people have in their swirl filters and radial flow filters is a conical base. So that means all the solids will then gather at one point in the bottom. You can turn a switch, uh, a valve, sorry, and all the solids just get taken out to waste and you deal with them um, after that. With these DIY home jobbies, um, I'm not really up on making um, conical based drums and filters. Not, I haven't tried plastic welding, so I'm just making do with what I've got. So. As you can see down the bottom there, we have a lot of make-believe fish waste. In this case it is this stuff here. This is gravel or small bits of rock. It's a lot heavier than fish uh, waste, so it's just going to sit on the bottom of the tank. It's not going to um, break up and move around like fish waste. And what I've built to try and siphon or suck this stuff out is a little tap that comes through the side of the radial flow filter. It comes down through a small bulkhead fitting there and then out to waste. Because this is actually off the, off the base of the barrel by quite a bit actually, you also do need a waste, some sort of a waste tap down the bottom. So when you need to clean out the whole system, you can turn it off and it'll just drain out easily from the bottom. Um, I saw Anthony from Gigglebyte Studios actually got a sump pump for his, but all I'm going to do for ours is just um, install one of these one inch or 25 mil um, irrigation barb fittings, just drill my hole, put my grommet through down the base and I'll use that. This actually will be sitting up a little bit higher off the ground than this in the final position so yeah there'll be more than enough room to be able to stick a bucket or a hose on the end of this and, and take it out where it can be dealt with. On the inside of the bulkhead fitting what I've got is, I'll just unscrew it, an 18 millimeter hose connection. Um, this is just something that came in a, a bucket of bits I bought at the markets once. It's I think it's about a three quarter inch or 18 mil here. Uh, it's just a larger diameter garden hose connection. Um, just the normal snap-on fittings. So what I've done is I've made myself up a bit of a hose pipe. I've got the snap-on fitting here. That will get connected to it inside of the barrel and a hose pipe that goes down so I can collect the solids down the bottom. I tried it, if I can just move my bits and pieces, tried it with a 13mm one the other day when I made the barrel and I just found, even though um, this, this is hard and not like fish waste, it was clogging up. So I thought to err on the side of caution, and so I went out and I already had this bit and I needed to buy a bit of hose and just the snap-on fitting here. But um, yeah, I, I thought that the larger diameter would be the way to go, so this is pretty much what I've come up with. The reason I have that little outlet there up so high is it's going to give me room to move the hose around and the little handle I've sort of zip tied onto the hose so I can reach down in there. Uh, this is something that it will take, you know, a couple of minutes to do every couple of days or whenever it needs to be done. There is a bit of messing around to do, but it is far better than trying to stick a hose down there, whacking your lips on the other end out here, sucking in some fish waste. Oh, I've already done that this morning in the aquaponics one and trying to siphon it out that way. Um, this is just a lot easier. There's a little tap here. 
Um, you can move your stick around in here, I'll show you in a tick, and yeah, it's pretty much all the way. I think I'm going to build the one for the aquaponics system, as well as this one here, keeping this one here for the RAS. So I'll just set up the camera on the tripod and just show you what needs to be done uh, to get this thing to work. What you're going to have to do to start with is turn the flow off into the radial flow filter from the fish tank. Now the fish, it's only going to take five minutes to clean. The fish are going to be fine in there and, you know, worst case scenario, you should have backup air running in the system anyway. Um, so you turn off your flow from your fish tank there. Then all it's as easy as doing is taking off the top of the filter itself just come straight off. Um, none of this is pushed on um, to be airtight. I'm not going to seal this and there's not going to be an airtight seal around the top here mainly because if there are any gases that form in here, sulfur dioxide is one, if the solids are left in too long you want to give it some sort of chance to evaporate out of the water. You don't really want it staying in there and dissolving in the water in large quantities because it's toxic to your fish. Now for the barrel setup itself, now your water's off all it's as easy as doing is pulling out your pipe here. Uh, the pipe in my other radial flow as well is not glued on, so I can take it out for maintenance purposes. That just comes out. Uh, notice the twin 45, if it was just a 90 degree angle, uh, the water hits the wall and makes it harder to make the turn. So twin 45s are something I've done a fair bit now here on the system. From there, it's as easy as taking your hose pipe and the handle, just, I don't know if I showed this before, just zip tied onto the end for now and snapping this onto the fitting and it's a bit hard to show you this bit so I think I might get Maya down here just got my helper here holding the camera just to show you how well this thing works just getting right in there and picking up these grains of um, gravel small gravel which I think would be heavier than anything that the fish would produce for us Go around this side um, I think it's working fantastic. Got to remember too that the gravel's just going to tend to sit in one place and not get moved up. Hose is in the way, we'll see if we can swap sides. This stuff is also going to sit on the bottom and not swirl around as much as fish uh, waste does. So I think in the end this will do a great job of cleaning out the fish waste. So I'm mighty impressed with that. It's not the best fix in the world, but you know, it's something that's better than what I've been working with so far, sticking my mouth over the end of a hose, sucking and getting a mouthful of fish waste. So. Oh, yuck. So that's my idea for trying to clean the, the solids out of the bottom of the radial flow filter. Um, I don't know if that's going to help you out, mate, but it might give you a couple ideas. Uh, I'll put this up here and I'll post it and I'll make it public just so other people can have a look. And if you've got any ideas or any feedback or anything that you could suggest that might help, I'd be, you know, really appreciate it. But um, for just a DIY backyard jobby, I think it's pretty much all the best I'm going to come up with for now, knowing what I do. Um, I'm not that knowledgeable on hydraulics and the way water flows and um, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'll pretty much will leave it at that. Uh, like I said, any comments, questions um, or suggestions, please, down in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. And other than that, have a great one and I hope it helps, mate. Cheers.